this drop shot is super effective. Watch the video to get all the tips you need to be able to master this. Before we move into this video, it would mean a lot to me and I know to Morten Frost as well if you take a second to subscribe to our YouTube channel, then we would be able to provide a lot of new great badminton content. The deceptive drop shot that I'm talking about is a shot where you fake that you are playing a smash and if you have a super powerful smash, your opponent will definitely be afraid of that one. If you can top that one with a deceptive drop shot, at the last moment you play a drop shot instead of the power smash, I would say you have a really, really powerful weapon in your offensive tool. Players that are very, very good at playing this shot, I think the first one that comes to my mind is Yuta Watanabe from Japan. He is so good at playing this deceptive drop shot. That doesn't mean it's only for mixed doubles players or only for doubles players. I would say it's still very, very effective in singles. Though you don't see it as much, which I think is a shame. It's such a good variation to your power smash. Let's go through the technique. You prepare as any other shot. You kind of make it look like a smash. So that means your body really opens up and you're ready to play that power smash. And then if I have my racket here at the last second, I kind of stop my movement and, and slow it down. So I'm able to play this drop shot. As with any other shot, you still need to get it as high as possible. So if you do jump smashes, you need to jump as you would in a power smash and stop the racket just a second before you hit the shuttle. It's, I would say, probably top five in most difficult shots, personally, I think, but I think it's such a beautiful shot if you do master this. So again, you actually, when you practice it, play a lot of smashes, and then sometimes when you do this, you, at the last second, you stop your racket movement, so you're able to play that drop shot, and then you slow it down and, and get that beautiful slow curve on the shuttle. If you need to master it, the, the closer you're able to stop your movement on the shuttle, the better your deception will be. So if I already stop my movement here, then I wouldn't probably trick anyone in looking like a smash. But if I'm able to stop it right the second before I'm hitting uh, the shuttle, then it's deceptive. And you need your body as well to do the rotation so it really looks like you're going for, for the big power smash. So all in all, it's exactly the same technique as a power smash, but you just focus on stopping your racket movement just just before you're hitting the shuttle. Of course, that means you need to be super relaxed in your grip, but still being powerful. That's why it's so tricky. You need to look powerful, but stay super relaxed. So you're able to stop your movement and getting that drop shot. We have a lot of badminton tutorials video on our YouTube channel. So we would super appreciate if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then have a look at all the videos we have.